Hello ladies and gentlemen, security 2 by 4 here bringing you another Minecraft vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we're doing again another kind of random uh, different build from the usual on this channel. Uh, you know, typically we have military themed builds, but I decided to go ahead and, you know, do some stuff a little bit different. We've seen a few other little builds come out um, that are a little bit different and all that stuff. Um, you know, mainly trying to pre-record some smaller builds before I go on vacation. So there's something out there for you guys to enjoy. Uh, but again, it's just a, you know, different little build that you guys can probably find some kind of, um, you know, fun in building and all that stuff. Uh, overall, it's a pretty cool little design for it. I think it came out uh, pretty good and it's not really based off anything in particular. It's just kind of a John Deere uh, riding lawnmower. I just kind of Google searched it and the first images kind of used that to pretty much build up the thing. So um, overall, it's, you know, pretty simple design, not really based off any model in particular, um, but it's, you know, just your kind of standard riding lawnmower and all that stuff. Um, anyways, take a look at it. It's pretty simple, really. Uh, you have, obviously, your wheels. I used the Ender Dragon Skulls again to kind of show those smaller wheels, which I think worked out really nicely. I also have the back wheels here, uh, which are a little bit bigger than the Dragon Head, which show off a really cool kind of, um, you know, difference in size because I wanted to show that the front wheels were a little bit smaller than the back wheels, and that worked out pretty nicely. Uh, going on the top here, nothing too fancy. Headlights that stick out on both sides there and just the front kind of... Um, you know, um, radiator. Um, over here we have the steering wheel and also the uh, seat here for the operator to sit down and all that stuff. Um, overall, just a kind of a cool little build, um, something a little bit different that, you know, you guys can try to find some kind of use for um, in one of your worlds or something you're working on. Uh, but overall, just a kind of cool random little design and something that hopefully you guys can find a use for. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting out off with uh, pretty much the uh, base and getting this thing built up. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start off by getting our front wheels built up. So for this, we're going to go ahead and place down a um, so, uh, the Ender Dragon skull like this, followed by a sandstone top slab coming off of it, followed by another dragon head on the opposite side. So we get something that kind of looks like that um, going across there, and that's going to be our two front wheels. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a nether brick top slab coming off this um, uh, sandstone top slab. We then want to place down a sandstone half slab on both sides of this nether brick top slab, followed by a wither skeleton skull here on both sides of those half slabs. Once we have that done, we're going to place down a uh, sandstone uh, full block there in the middle, followed by a nether brick slab or stair here on both sides like that, and a sandstone half slab coming off the fronts of those stairs. After that's done, we're going to place down a row of three of sandstone half slabs across like that. We then want to place down a stone brick um, slab coming off this uh, sandstone uh, half slab right there. So a stone brick top slab with a block of coal here on both sides and a stone button um, on those two bl blocks of coal. After that's done, we're then going to place down a uh, black wool block on the front here. Um, so we need to go ahead and grab one. Um, let's see, I'm trying to grab one here. It's proven to be a little difficult. There we go. We're going to place down a black wool block on top of this sandstone top slab followed by a ladder. Um, on the front here, on both sides of the black wool block, we're going to place down some uh, green banners like so. After that's done, we're going to place down an upside down narrow brick stair coming off this black wool block. Um, with that finished, we're going to go ahead and place down a black carpet um, here in the middle on top of that um, sandstone uh, full block right there. Well, we then want to place down a dark oak wood half slab on these two dark oak wood stairs on either side, followed by a sign coming off the uh, front here of those slabs. Continuing on, we're going to go ahead and place down a yellow wool block here in the middle, coming off that black carpet, followed by a uh, dark oak wood stair, which is going to be on both sides of the yellow wool block, so just like this. After you have that done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood uh, top slab. We're going to place it down on both uh, the backs of both of those uh, dark oak wood stairs. And then we just want to place down a green uh, wool block there in the middle. After you have that done, we're going to place down a uh, dark oak wood half slab on top of this black wool block. We're going to place down a zombie head on either side of that half slab. We then want to follow it up by placing down a sandstone half slab on top of this um, nether brick upside down stair and a uh, zombie head coming off that slab like that for the steering wheel. With that finished, we're then going to place down a wooden trap door on top of this uh, yellow wool block, followed by a yellow banner coming off the wooden trap door like so. And then lastly, we're just going to grab ourselves some green carpet and we're going to place down a green carpet on top of those two dark oak with top slabs. Once you guys have that done, it's going to kind of do it for the uh, John Deere riding lawnmower. Uh, pretty cool little design for it, if I do say so myself, and hopefully you guys can find some kind of use for it. 
Anyways, uh, that's gonna do it for this. If you guys do end up use this tutorial, I do ask that you guys um, give me proper credit for it. This main thing from a sign the build tweet to my channel or this video. If this does appear any social media sites, just be sure you get proper credit for it. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these videos. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use your forever projects you guys are working on. And that guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.